like sex wax. <laughs> Mr. Zogs. We're headed to go get COVID tests right now. Oh. Not because I'm not here all alone. I just freaked out. This is what we're doing. My car doesn't sound like a freaking <laughs> noise. Put the funnel on top and just fit into it. I'll have you fill it to the black line. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Cheers, y'all. If any of you guys start, I swear I will literally kick you out of this car and I will make you walk home. I, guys, I can't handle spit. It, like, my own spit makes me vomit. Yeah, I totally forgot about saving. I'm so glad you guys did. Because I would have barfed. Uh -huh. Stop. I was. Hello, beautiful people. It is currently 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m., and I feel like I have been already very productive. I've been up since 6.40 in the morning, and I've been home for about, what is it? This is our second day home? We are home all of yesterday and today. Um, I think I'm still feeling the jet lag, and yesterday I'm kind of proud of myself because I didn't want to sleep all day long. Well, I think my eyes were kind of tired, but all day long I was fine, and I went to bed earlier-ish. Let's keep up this productivity and make sure that we don't slack. But let's just say it's been kind of a struggle. Having, trying to, trying to adjust to a completely opposite time zone. Like, it's currently, it's 6.30 p.m. in Jerusalem right now, so technically it's nighttime. It's almost time for bed, and I am just now getting started with the day, so... We're struggling a little, and we're gonna try and actually get our stuff done today, be productive, and not want to sleep literally all day. But I got myself some water with saffron in it. I've heard that saffron is actually really healthy for you. Um, I'll read a little more about it later. But then I also have some toast with the bee sauce, which is actually so amazing, and and I love it so much. But anyways, toast. <laughs> Literally. Um, okay, anyways. I feel like... Sorry, I had some bites, and... Man, is it burning my mouth. I feel like coming home from a trip, especially a trip where you're gone for two weeks, it can really... It's, it's, it's a good chance to have a new start, basically, right? We all love new starts. We all love starting fresh. And today is that day. Also, this tastes terrible. Shay says it tastes like dirt. I say it tastes like metal. Today is a new start. We're going to get our grind on. We are going to push through this wonderful, wonderful jet lag. My eyes are like literally burning right now. Don't know where I'm trying to go with this. Why is it? I can't remember what I was trying to say about this. So, my mom this morning, like right when I woke up, she sent me this reel that I'm going to show you. I'm Brooke Castillo. This is Camel Sarner. He's my godson. I've adopted him since he was a small child. And sometimes he comes to me and asks for advice. So I'm going to ask him today, what are you most struggling with? How do I manage everything that's been going on in my life? My brain is going at 100 miles per hour every minute. What are some things that I can implement? Little tiny things that I can work on every day to try and get it kind of organized. So, um, I thought that was really cool because I tend to struggle a lot with like, I make a to-do list, but then my to-do list somehow grows because I think I have this mindset of, Oh my gosh, like I've finished these five tasks out of my eight tasks. I have space for five more tasks to get done. 
and I never feel like I have completely accomplished and gotten done with the day because at the end of the day, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I could have done this and this and this. So I wanna try this out and I really want to, I'm just gonna write out everything on my mind, everything that I, right after my bathroom break, I'm back. I have been reading the Atomic Habits book. Um, I started reading it while we were on one of our trips and it has helped me so much. It's just helped me a lot to um, kind of notice the obvious, basically. Like the simple things that we can be doing to help us accomplish like our big goals or become the person that we want to become. You know what I mean? I have been trying to work a little more on my habit. First of all, we're gonna do kind of what the um, reel talked about, about how like writing everything we're struggling like everything we're worried about, stressed about, everything we feel like we need to get done, how we can feel more accomplished onto paper. And then we're going to organize it out, put it into a calendar like it said, and we're gonna get our shoes done. Oh, and then I also remembered this other reel that I saw that said like, what is someone, like a life coach or something had said like, what's their biggest, someone had asked him what their biggest like tip for the world was. And the person had said, write everything you're worried about, stressed about, onto a piece of paper, and then cross out all the ones you can't control. Okay, we've written everything down. Writing everything out in a way that like, I can actually accomplish these things, or I can change the things I'm worried about. Um, I don't know, I feel like most of these things I can accomplish, like the things I'm worried about, like won't have all my videos organized and ready for when I leave. I can control that. My channel will die while I'm gone. That one I can't control either. I mean, I can control it up to a certain point, but I can't control that like in the future. So now we're gonna control the controllables and we're going to make a plan for our day. Okay, I've kind of just written out um, a bunch of things of like the person I want to be. Let's just say I have very high hopes for myself. And I think that sometimes the reason that I get burnt, not even burnt out, I don't get burnt out, I just get like upset with myself or I get into a mindset that I'm a failure or I'm not progressing, I'm not doing what I need to do. There's always so much more I can be doing, right? But it's just never ending. I don't know if that makes any sense, but anyways, so I've written everything out. We've got the to-do list that we have to do for the day. Um, we're going to accomplish everything and we're going to be okay and be happy when I accomplish these things and just try to have that mindset more. We're going to take this as a new, fresh start, which I'm very excited about, and it's gonna be a good day. very trashy. I technically sent in two videos to our editors. I am uh, working on three videos that are in um, our area where the editors send us videos, but I've done that. I've kind of written out a what I kind of want to talk about, what I want to see in one of my other videos. Let's see how we're doing with our checklist. Thumbnails I haven't quite done this part. Filming the jet lag video, that one we're working on. I feel like I probably try to fill my time and do other things that aren't on my to-do list and then feel like, I think that might be one of my issues, is I do these things that I feel like aren't productive by like, I get distracted and so I'll start like viewing my videos, right? But it's not on my checklist. It's something that needs to be done but it's not a priority, right? But then I never get the whole checklist done, so. Today, I think we're gonna really just stick to the checklist and get the checklist done. We're gonna work on that today. We're gonna put everything that I want to be doing, everything I'm reading about, and we're gonna actually put it into play and become this fantastic, amazing me. So, this thing is telling me, also I changed because I had to film a video. But my computer's saying that my disk is full. I swear this is like two terabits, so I don't know how this much stuff is two terabits, but we had to clear some stuff.
I just finished lunch and I've been I've been moving all of my um, videos and folders and stuff over onto the Lacey, the external hard drive. But I need to do some reevaluating and reassess the situation. Just kidding. I have to just check which videos I have, what I still need to do, because I think I'm I'm doing it blindly, basically, where I don't know how much videos I have. I don't know which ones are posted, when's going where. It's gotten really jumbled in the last month or so. So we got a calendar. We got a paper, and we got all the videos on my phone, and my wonderful mom is going to help me to figure out what goes where, when goes what, and that's what we're going to do, because your girl needs some reorganization. So I've got everything that's already been written down, right, the plan that I kind of had, but, and then this is kind of the new plan, and these are all the videos that I have. I swear there's more, but... That's why I need to figure out what's going on. So I need a video for the 16th. So wait, wait, wait. Am I allowed to upload all these videos? Like Allowed, yeah. Like, can oh, I just... Like bulk load. Bulk upload? Yeah, it's not going to hurt you. I don't know how far in advance you can upload, as in like six months, but you should be able to at least do two months or three. So this is including videos that are filmed being edited, videos to be filmed, and videos that are done. Okay, so... We need to figure out what goes first and what goes next. Much So typical work day, I don't actually have that video. So this is much. So just one line through it. Don't scribble it out. Just one line through it makes it clean. Okay. So, so much, much is changing. Did you film something like that? Um, I think so. Oh, actually, no, I don't think so. So honestly, I think I might film something called So Much is Changing with like what's going on right now that'll fit into these two Okay, videos. so let's see. We have preparing. No, these videos aren't done quite yet. Okay. These videos are the ones, these are the to brand new videos. It could be something that I said, it could be just an idea that you had as a consequence of having this conversation, but what, what stuck for you? I think whenever I talk to people about what I'm doing, mm -hmm. um, I get so in my head and so in the, the work of YouTube that I don't realize until I talk to other people or I just say it out loud how amazing um, like of a life I, I get to live the amazing opportunities I have. Now obviously YouTube has its downfalls as does everything, but it definitely has so many positives and so many amazing parts to it. Um, to me, having a YouTube channel and living an online life, I guess, mm -hmm. that it's just really awesome to have the opportunities that I get to have. It was great talking to you, of course. This has been so much fun. So thank you for letting me be a part of this. Thank Bye -bye. you so much. Maybe you off the ground for just one second. Bye, Kamea. Bye. Well, that was cool. What? <laughs> okay, I was, as I told you guys, I was so nervous for this. I do not do well talking to people because I get so nervous I'm going to stutter. It was actually so fun. So if you guys haven't heard of Whitney Johnson, you guys need to go check, check her out because that was super fun. <laughs> My mom had written out everything, like the dates, because we were trying to organize and figure out all the videos. But she had only written, she had only put like one line over November and December, right? Whereas I had been leaving like up to four lines for each one so that I can write out more videos if I need to. And uh, it was driving me so crazy. I couldn't function, I couldn't think, I couldn't figure it out because there wasn't enough lines and I had to write something next to November, except instead of under it. It sounds absurd, but to me, it is a big deal. I am trying to be perfect, this perfect idea of myself, right? And if it's not exactly how I want it to be, I cannot function. I can't, like, I'm, I freak out. It drives me crazy. I can't do anything until it's that way. It, I, I can't, it drives me so nuts. I also, while I was talking to my mom, I was like, no, I want to leave out, like, I was like, oh, it's fine, like I can film. I had told her, okay, these are the 36 videos that I have, and after this I'll be done. Like I'll, I'll be, I'll have accomplished my goal. Now here's the thing, in my head, that goal was, actually I like how it looks this way. That goal wasn't 36 videos, 36 videos was the, 36 videos was kind of the, the bottom line. And so I realized I need to, I need to set my bar, 
and have that be my bar, not, hey, here's a bar, but I'm actually gonna try and go all the way up here. I'm giving myself so much pressure, but I'm not rewarding myself, even rewarding myself in the sense of like, Clay, you did good today, good job, right? Because I have such a high bar that I've set myself. Because like I've told you guys in multiple videos, I feel like I'm never satisfied, I'm never accomplishing everything, and so I wanna make it change that and I want to you know I have that problem and you gotta figure out how to fix that I guess or avoid that however anyways I'm gonna go watch a movie I'm gonna go home and I have a lot of things I want to write down ideas plans goals anyways let's go to the movie Um, I'm sorry I didn't film everything else that happened after the movie. Things got really intense for me because I was really freaking out about... I was really freaking out just about the videos and the, the making sure everything was perfect. Um, but anyways, I just was really struggling. But we're good now. I'm gonna finish this work and then I'm going to treat myself to watching a little bit of a movie, maybe doing a little self-care. And then I'm gonna go to bed because I gotta wake up early and tomorrow's gonna be a new day. But first I gotta get some work done. Oh, okay, well that just happened. Well, my computer is currently moving all these items over. Look at it, it's blinking. And while it's doing that, I'm gonna go find myself a snack because I am hungry. Okay, you guys, I just refilled my water and it was bright yellow because I put the saffron stuff in this morning. It smelled terrible, but I am going to drink it because it's healthy and have this amazing banana bread that I literally am obsessed with. 